So um, how's your day going? Good, busy. I just got done mowing the lawn. So I tried something new. I tried the. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to use essential oil wise to stop mosquitoes, but I don't have any mosquitoes repellent in the house. So I rubbed a little bit of lemon on. I put a little bit of peppermint on. I put a little bit of the something else like shield defense, whatever it is like, okay, I don't have any bug spray, but let's see if it works. And it did kind of work. I maybe swatted like three times, Yeah. but I thought that was pretty darn good considering, is, you they know, are pretty vicious. <laughs> they are. And they usually spray our neighborhood, but I'm surprised they haven't sprayed our neighborhood yet. It's bad. It is so bad. We went apple picking on Sunday, and there were swarms of mosquitoes under the trees. They even, like, were putting out, like, that Deep Woods Off bug spray and told people they should put it on because they're bad. I didn't do it because when I get bit, I get a bump, but they don't really bother me but everybody else in my family has issues, <laughs> so. Well, yeah, and I hate the whole, like, germs, diseases you can get from mosquitoes. That freaks me out more oh, than anything. For sure, for sure. But yeah, they were vicious. They were horrible, swarms of them. Okay. So how is your follow-up going with people from Monday night? Um, well, well, I haven't done a real good job of doing that yet. I did actually talk to a couple of other people, however, um, it just happened to be that it worked into our conversations. So um, I have a girl I have to follow up with today, and then I'll see another girl that I do class with on Tuesday. So I'll just follow up with her when I see her on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to, I should have asked her for her number, but I didn't ask for it because we were in the locker room at the gym and I felt weird, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about that um, last night that I need to um, talk to a couple of people that were on the list that really, I think, need to talk to me <laughs> about good it. okay so how did you do with last week's homework of coming up with like work hours for pockets in your day um I you know I started doing that and you know what I find uh, like my mornings are pretty standard you know the usual thing um so I was I allowed some time in the early like 8 30 to 9 30 is, is like a time where I can really allow some time to work on and that's really more my my um uh, what's my, what's the word I'm looking for? like my like, Bible time my um uh, quiet time yeah my quiet time after everybody leaves for school yeah my home's kind of like out of the living room and then I just kind of start um like thinking about what's going to happen today you know I do my bible first and then I um start thinking about my day um and like planning my work I usually plan my workouts beginning of the week um so because my workout schedule is kind of like 9 30 here 12 o'clock there you know I'm not the same right um, so I don't I didn't really come up with specific but I just had like morning and afternoon time good so, to put in um pockets and then I had um some evenings just because that's the way it works out with people where I, I would like to make myself available so Tuesdays and Wednesday evenings don't work out because of life group and then tumbling um, but otherwise I'm pretty open in the evening. So I allow myself time for that as well. Good. And then, um, so yeah, I, like I said, I didn't pick specific hours other than the 8.30 to 9.30 thing. Um, because then it's kind of fluctuates a little bit. I'm looking at my schedule. <laughs> Are you a morning person or a night person by nature? Uh, neither. <laughs> so your creative juices don't start flowing till later. Well, no, I mean, I, st all the time, you know, I'm always okay. like, it, my brain's always going. That's the problem. My okay. brain never shuts off. Um, okay. So, um, like, even when I go to bed, I have to read to shut my brain off. Okay. And I read until I pass out. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, like, things will pop in my head, and so I'll give myself notes and things like that. So, I'm kind of like an all-over-the-place kind of person. Like, if it pops into my head, then I just do it, you know? Good. That's and good. That too, because I have the freedom during the day to do that. So, like I said, other than my workouts, I'm kind of like, you know, open in most areas. Most okay. areas. And then you come across, at least I think, as a pretty disciplined person. Like, are you, you're not a getting ready to get ready or needing to study every detail before moving into action. Like, no, not at all. Basically simple kind of taught you that, like, we need to work when we have these open windows of time and right. let's get to it. Yep. That's what I do. And Something I was telling Michael, because you have so much information, like at our Monday, the Monday night um, sip and sample, 
that if you weren't there, I would not have had all that information for people, for anybody, you know, let alone right. Katrina and, and Debbie. So I was like, I really need to start studying our products more because I know what they do. And I, but, and I can say, you know, the science behind, you know, the system works. And so right. I need to be more specific about the individual products and why, why we use the products the way we use them. Right. And, and remember to give yourself some grace. I did not know everything for the longest time that it's just been through continual conferences and podcasts. Right. And now, that's kind of what I figured. I mean, you've been doing it for four or five years now. And so you've got right. that under your belt, but. Now, so I have a recommendation for you that I think is one of the best learning curves ever okay. with product knowledge. Okay. So I just brought it back up to the page on ISA Journey Success a couple days ago. So and yesterday, actually. So there's a post on ISA Journey with a podcast of Peter Greenlaw. Now, I am telling you, Julie, have a pad of paper and be ready to write really fast. You may even like have it where it's on the computer and you can pause it. Right. Because okay. I think I had like three pages of legal pad notes okay. by the time I was done with that podcast. Because he, and now the podcast is probably 45 years old. So things like hydrate back then was called want more energy. And like there's a couple of name changes, but for the most part, everything's fine. And the first two minutes, it's really staticky. I don't know what was going on. But once you get past those first two minutes, it is, isn't staticky anymore. But he is a medical researcher by trade. So I actually got to hear him speak live, gosh, four years ago. He and Peter Greenlaw, or um, sorry, Peter Greenlaw and um, John Gray. So John Gray is the guy who wrote Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Okay. He's an ISA person. He actually was a millionaire with Isagenics before he was a millionaire, but being an author. Oh, wow. And it was hysterical because John is under Peter Greenlaw. Peter, being the science research, medical researcher that he is, had done this research. Both of them have books out. I think um, one of Peter's books is Why Diets Are Failing You Today. Like, there's a bunch of YouTubes on it. Um, he's been on, like, the Today Show, all that. Okay. So. He's talking isogenics without coming out and saying isogenics. Gotcha. And they were in town together for an ADHD conference for teachers. Mm -hmm. And again, they wouldn't call out isogenics, but they kept saying the natural solution. And right. it was a whole room of, they did like an, an isogenics night before their conference. Uh -huh. We're all laughing because he refused to call it out of what it was. And we're all laughing because we know exactly what the natural solution is. Right. But Peter Greenlaw, just so you know, he was totally uncompliant that night that he has not MS, Parkinson's. And he has been symptomatic free for 14 years since he started Isogenics. Wow. So, and, and his book is all on brain health and kids with ADHD, kids with brain injury, how important this system is for them. What's his name? So, uh, John Gray. And he has a book called, do I have his here? So the one that Peter Greenlaw wrote is Why Diets Are Failing, which I have if you want to borrow. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay. So I have this one. Peter Greenlaw's book, I have to go back and find because I think I lent it out to somebody. But it is um, all about brain health and how basically Ionics is the saving grace without him coming out, calling the product out loud. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's things like that, that I've learned a lot via conferences, listening to him, listening to podcasts. So that Peter Greenlaw uh, podcast will serve you well. It's like 45 minutes long. So that's why I'm saying seriously have like time and a notepad and pause so that you can write as many notes as possible. Okay. And that actually leads me to one of my questions as I was going to open with is since we're doing the belief system on ISA journey, what's your belief on a scale from one to 10 on the products and the company? Uh, well, on the products, I'd say 10. Okay. Cause I love them. And you know that otherwise I wouldn't have my family on them. Um, and in the company, I mean, so far I would say a 10, I haven't really seen a reason not to have a 10, you know, right. However, I have to say that uh, that Zoom the other night with the, I'm like, that was lame. Yeah, with the Coors last night, I was like, they, for all the hype, there was nothing to that. We thought the same thing. I was like, 
Okay. As ex and I said to Randy, does that mean that people aren't earning Disney, that they're coming up with something else? Because isn't Disney up like October 15th or November 15th or something? November, soon? yeah. 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 I don't know. I mean, it's weird because they, because they said whatever you're earning now, you can, you can use for next year. Yeah, it's going to be retro, whatever is going on. They're so, just not sharing what it is. Exactly. So I thought that was pretty strange as well. So, uh, you know, in, in my opinion, it's let's just keep following the right. book and doing what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, so I had also put on, and I need to go back and check all of them. So um, I had put the working in the pockets of your life, which I think you get. So I don't think you and I need to specifically go over that per se. Right. Um, so besides product knowledge, where else do you feel you're either struggling or need more information on? Well, I don't feel like I need more information on it. I just think I need to get outside of myself on this is um, talking to people about the product and the opportunity. It's, right. it's just not, my, personally myself, not necessarily recognizing when that opportunity is. Like the girl in the gym yesterday, it was like, it was natural because she was telling me how sore she was after a class. I go, oh, you got to find a really good recovery. And so then I just started talking to her about it. And she's like, oh, yeah, I have a friend who sells that. And at first, I, you know, I was just like, yeah, you know, I didn't really, but then but like when I was talking to her about it, she seemed more apt to believe me over what her friend on right. Facebook said. And I was like, wow, <laughs> what does that yeah. mean? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so that opportunity, I was able to pick up on it right away. Um, and then the other girl that I was talking to yesterday, I, I know her, um, she's a Tastefully Simple client, and literally the conversation started about Tastefully Simple, and then she said, I wish you could still parties for me, blah, 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 but she lives in San Diego. So then I private messaged her and said, hey, I'm kind of moving away from Taste, I moved away from Tastefully Simple. I said, I actually am a, a following more with nutrition now and things like that. And she's like, Oh, what is it? Um, just nutrition or is it weight loss? Do you sell it? I said, yes to all of the above. <laughs> so then we started having a conversation. So I sent her, um, like a video clip and some information. So I'm going to follow up with her today. She was in California and I thought she probably wouldn't like me to follow up with her at eight o'clock in the morning, my time. So <laughs> Okay, so here's my next question for you. Coming off of conference, did you see that interview that we did with Cindy about how she's using the Isolife app? Not Cindy, Marcy. Um, I don't know. It was a couple weeks ago. Okay, so you know they announced at conference this whole Isolife app option. Right. Are you familiar how to do it and have you set up your carts in the back office? That's what I need to do as well. That No, I have not. I have not even looked at how to set up my carts yet. Um, okay, it's and, and you know, Marcy and I are not techie people. So if we can do this, it's super simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into your back office. Okay. Actually logging in now. I'll kind of give you the tutorial of what we did on the video. So when you're at the top, um, when you're logged in, Let's order history team. Okay, so you will hover over team with your mouse. Okay. And go down to the bottom and it says manage my recommended carts. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put together the three carts, the basic, the value, and the premium. Now, you can do it the quick way where it says pick the most popular products, which we did at first. And then we went back and looked at it, but they put in liquid ionics, they put in chocolate scoobies. So I ignored and I picked what I recommend to people. Right. Takes a little bit longer, but it'll only take you, like once you do the first one, you know what you're doing. It takes like 15, 20 minutes to do all three carts. Okay. So the first step is you want to get your recommended carts up. Now at this point, it only works for US, Canada, Puerto Rico, Australia, New Zealand. Okay. I cannot wait for it to be in Mexico because I'm in the midst of having communication with somebody that I may have my first Mexico person. Oh, cool. So I'm dying to know, and he's a start person. So I'm like dying for Mexico to be on the list to, to do this. Yeah. So then what you do, and I just was playing with this last night because I have a couple long distance people that I'm working with. And I'm one of those, like, I feel I need to test it on somebody I know well so I can be like, hey, this is the first time I'm doing this. You know, let me know if it doesn't work. 
But when you log in to your app, yeah. you're going to click, where did I find it? It was one of those, I, like, was like, oh, okay, so you're going to click on your person, like the little blue person at the bottom, this yeah. person here. Yeah. You click on that little person at the bottom right corner. And there, if you scroll halfway down under my team, it says share isogenics. Okay. So when you click share isogenics, look at this, your three recommended carts pull up. Okay. Now let's say we're going to say we're going to recommend the value pack. The next screen, when you touch which pack you're doing, it says, are you the enrolling sponsor? Which leg do you want them on? Like you still get to customize. So wait, and so, so, so I, okay, wait, cause I'm not set up. What did you do now with that? Okay, so when you're back here, you click that person and then you click share isogenics. Right. Okay, hold on, let me just run. Okay, <laughs> so you click share isogenics is gonna right. be right there in the middle. Got it. You click that. And once you click that, your three packages in your cart of your recommended carts that you did already in your back office. Okay. So that's why you have to do your recommended carts first in your okay. back office because then it'll show up here. Okay, got it. So then you pick, like say you're talking to the person and they're like, yeah, I want the value pack. Whichever pack they say they want, you're going to click on. Okay. And then the cool part is the next screen asks, when do you want their auto ship? So I reset it to 28 days. Right. Which leg and are you the enrolling sponsor? So gotcha. the same thing is if you're on the computer. So I haven't clicked next, but it says share recommended cart. And according to Marcy, you get options. Do you want to send it in a text? Do you want to send it in a Facebook message? Do you want to send it in an email? Oh. And it goes to your person. Cool. Now the other cool thing she said, so then they go in and do it themselves. You don't have to even take time enrolling. They can change like flavors and things like so that. So they can go in and edit it. And she said it will also update you and show you where they are, like if they're halfway through the enrollment process or That's almost awesome. done with the enrollment process. Okay. See, I didn't know that. So now that I kind of know what I'm doing, because I was like, I, I kind of feel like I need to know what I'm doing before I send this. Sure. So I kind of played with it. Like I set my carts up before I went to Destin. And then yesterday I'm like, I got to look at this app. And then when I, because I was like, where is it that she's seeing? the car the the recommended kits uh -huh. and so once i found it under share my i'm like oh my gosh this is gonna be a breeze especially i was worried we wouldn't be able to pick which leg right so but here's the kicker so for you remember i said you want to get a couple of people under you to get you comfortable yep. but let's say you have three on each side to me that's good cushion right then we want to do this under michael so at some point you want to get michael to have the isolife app yeah. so that you can do it on his phone as well. Okay, all right. So that's the thing is like strategy now, like am I sending them or is Randy sending them? Whose right. phone, whose account do we need the cushion on? Right, okay. So, yeah, cool. um, so that's the one thing I wanna make sure everybody's up to speed on how to use Isolife app because you know we know we want one of those three enrolling systems and how much easier can it be to send them the link and let them do it? Right, oh yeah, that's much easier. So that's, Marcy got four enrollments the first two weeks off a of conference doing that. That's awesome. Yeah. And for those of us literally working in pockets of our life, this yeah. makes life even easier. Yes. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Because I signed up to get that ISA, I got the ISA tools, the better version. And that's actually been helping me because I've been able to send people like right the videos and stuff videos. I, I actually created my own presentation for Dave Joy because he was focused more on the heart health. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I actually, like that kind of stuff I can figure out on my own. Um, okay. I did not realize, I mean, they talked about it at National, but um, I haven't utilized it yet because I didn't even right. think about it, you know? Yeah, and for us, what was so funny is Marcy is in our fifth PET, so we don't see her in reports. Right. So it wasn't until she alerted us that she had enrolled four people in two weeks that I realized what happened, and I went, wait, you've done what? How yeah. did you do that? That's cool. You know, and yeah, again, we're not high tech people. So when she was like, oh, this is easy peasy. I'm like, we've got to all get on this. Yeah. Very cool. All right. I got it. I'll do it. And so where's Debbie in the, did you talk to her to see if she's open for featured in the transformation? 
No, I have. I was talking. I was thinking about that this morning. So I'm going to reach out to her later today. Um, I'll actually even see her on Saturday too to talk to her more about it if she wants to talk about it. But um, no, that's what I was going to. I was um, on the treadmill this morning thinking about all the things I had to do I, okay. while I was watching that podcast or that Zoom call. That's an hour long. <laughs> yeah, the one, the Cindy's interview. Yeah, it's really good. I haven't even finished it yet. I think I have like ten more minutes or fifteen more minutes. Wait, oh did you get to the door to door thing? Yes. I'm like, no Who way. would have ever thought? Well, I liked the idea of I'm doing, how did she phrase it? I'm doing product research. Like, yes. have you heard of us? Like, that actually would be pretty easy to do. Yeah. Um, especially if you showed up with a clipboard. I don't know about the whole making your shake right there. It cracked me up. Having, everybody has an outlet, outlet on the outside of their house. I'm like, mm. <laughs> That was hysterical. Like, I'd be more tempted to just hand them a shake. But, yeah, right. I mean, really, you're seeing if they like it right then and there. That it's brilliant. So, yeah. Uh, if anybody's brave enough, I love that idea. Like, what a what a great idea. Yeah, it's cool. But I'm like, no, not me. <laughs> okay, so here's my other question for you. Because, you know, with this whole looking for people and how are we connecting for people and how are we finding new friends all the time, Yeah, I really realized there was a, a market I was missing. And they talk about this all the time. And, you know, there's only so much we can do at one time. It's like that learning curve. Like, you're in product knowledge. You're in leader building. And so this has been my new focus of where am I missing finding new people? And so Cindy is really blunt about, you know, talk to your hairdresser, talk to your nail person, talk to your chiropractor. And she's so strong that she'll even say things like, if they haven't considered you, she'll change hairstylists. Like, oh, wow. like keep going and interact with people. Cause she's like, these are people who you trust their services. Right. They could trust you as well. It's right. a mutual thing. And we all know people buy from people who love, trust, and care for people. Well, yeah. So, I mean, I, try, I buy from people who buy from me. That's exactly what I do. Right. So one of the talks or podcasts that I've heard, or suggestions, I guess is what I'm looking for, that I've heard over and over and over that I have yet to embrace, and I'm just now starting to embrace. So have you joined any groups, like fitness fan groups, people who love to paint, like for Maryland Studio? Um, but especially like holistic groups, nutrition groups, exercise groups. Like if you search groups on Facebook, there's a ton of them you can join or look in your groups and see if you've gotten thrown in somebody's group and not even realized it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. here's what happened with me. That's kind of funny. There's a person. So I, I, and I, we tried the chamber chamber was not for us. We got no business after a year and it was way too expensive. So I said, I need to find a networking group. So a new networking group happened to be opening in Huntley last year. And it's a once a month commitment it's for lunch, not breakfast. So I was like, perfect. So there's 20 of us in there. And one of the girls who's in there, she's the mortgage person. Oh, you told me about her. A natural, yeah, has a natural and holistic group yeah. that she threw me in. Okay. Well, I had asked her after I got to present last week, if they had Facebook lived me in PPNG. I said, can I share that in your holistic group? Okay, again, I'm a little slow on the uptake. I'm like, why am I not posting in there all the time? Uh -huh. Why am I not going in and seeing who's liking the posts I'm making? Because now I've started posting daily in there. Okay. And then friend requesting anybody I don't know who's liked my post. Right. So here's the danger. You cannot usually friend more than five pe people in one day or you'll get into Facebook jail. Right. You know about that? Yeah. Okay. So those of you who are watching the recording, do not friend request more than five people in one day or they will stop your account for a week or so. So I had to stop myself last night, but it literally was this light bulb moment of I'm in this whole, it's called natural and holistic health ideas. Right. Why am I not posting daily in there? And why am I not finding new friends just in that group? Yeah. Take some aha moments sometimes. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. So I'm going to recommend, you know, searching either for a networking group or searching for a group online or two to join where you can start getting interactive and collecting new friends that way. Because okay. I think we all run up to that wall of who am I going to connect with next? You right. know, that they make it sound so easy from the stage. I am not the kind of girl to start talking to people like at a funeral or, and I did talk to people next to me on the airplane, but 
like in the grocery line. But you know, some people are out there, talk to the person in the grocery line. Randy's actually really good at this. I'm not. Yeah. Um, and it's funny because I'm better on the follow-up and he tends to drop the follow-up. So he'll like make the introduction and I kind of, it's, it's awkward because then I feel like I'm having to pick up on the back end. So whether it's in person or online, where are we finding those opportunities for new connections? Right. You know, because in that guide that we talked about last week, finding three new people a day. Right. I mean, that's, that's, oh what? <laughs> that has to be intentional, like meeting new friends at the club like you're doing, joining yeah. a new group, you know, talking to people at church, talking to sideline, gymnastics friends, tumbling friends, moms, like it definitely has to be an intentional thing. But I also think it can be organic. It can be like drinking out of an isogenics bottle. It can be making a recovery shake at the gym. I purposely have my isopro at Orange Theory and at Lifetime in front of people. Oh, I do too. I do that. You know. too. So yep. there's a way to make it look natural and organic and still be actually, you know, using the product. Right. But I just, I couldn't believe that it took me so long to figure out why am I not posting on this holistic page and why am I not friending people who are liking my posts? Yeah. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay. So I know we're at 215, but I want to ask you real quickly, how comfortable with you are you understanding the you share, they share? Oh, I'm good with that. Okay. Yeah. So those who are watching, that's really what we're going to focus in on master is a little bit more of the comp plan because the comp plan can seem overwhelming and complicated to people, but really as long as you understand you share, they share, everything else falls into place right. because that's all you're doing is creating consultants and you need 10 consultants to get to executive, cool. you know? So it's really just working with your people. So really like work with Debbie, make sure she understands this ISO life app you know, see if she's opening to sharing her story, like getting her mindset ready for that, especially right. knowing she's a pirate. Um, pirates are what we call what person who have one person, but needs oh. their second. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot that, that that probably wasn't common lingo yet. Um, so, so always um, talk like a pirate Wednesday. So yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> so pirates to us are you already have your spouse or yeah. a friend and you just need one more to start getting paid regularly. So I think it will be her son will be the next one. Yeah, so she's right there. Like, let's get all the pirates out there. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to keep posting some different things every day. I'm really glad you listened to Cindy's interview. Um, I love listening to the Kirkpatrick's. Like, they're amazing. It, yeah, she was really, really good. I, I'm going to finish listening to I was I, I was running at the gym listening to it. So I'm going to finish. Last night, I saw it was an hour. I'm like, forget it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get a whole lot. Yeah. I'm going to try. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish listening to it because she, like, tons and tons of information. I was like, oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Oh, yeah, duh. You know, that kind right. of stuff. So, yep. it's kind of encouraging just to, you know, hear different, like, what I was talking about. Who do I talk to? You know, she's right. talking a lot about that in there. So, that. And, and, and that it took 15 asks for her sister. I know. Get, Get out. So. <laughs> there are that, and, and for those of you who don't know, and you probably know this because of our previous business, Julie, the stats are eight, uh, eight to 10 times yeah. of asking before you get a yes. Yeah. So don't let the no's defeat you. Um, I've heard a couple analogies, pretend you're a duck and it's rolling off your back. Um, the other analogy I always love is somebody said, it's like serving coffee. Yeah. One day you may be in the mood for coffee. One day it's too hot for coffee. But one day you're going to want coffee. It's too cold or you're in the mood for it. So that's kind of the way people are. They have to hit, like we've talked about, they've got to hit that need of, I'm tired of spinning my wheels. The jeans don't fit and fall season's coming and I'm not buying the next size of jeans. Like we got to look for those opportunities, right? you know? And um, the other part we're going to start talking more and more about is the consistent posting on Facebook that, you know, it's all about creating that curiosity. I got to get better about that too. For yeah. Sure. So yeah, well, the, the whole, as it gets cooler and people are starting to fit into jeans, that's the really good one of, you know, there's, there's pictures out there of it's funny until I can't zip my jeans or button my jeans. Like yeah. those kind of posts are really good ones. Okay. Yeah. I remember the old rubber band around the button to hold up the zipper. <laughs> oh, that would be good too. Yeah. Is this feeling like you, or there's ones with muffin top too. Oh my God. Muffin top one. <laughs> Yeah. So awesome. 
Cool. All right. Well, enjoy your day. And I'll just, I'm trying not to overload you guys, but every couple days I'll either put a new PDF or a new video or something training wise in the racing to executive groups and just kind of keep an eye on that. Cool. I will. Thanks. All right. Enjoy your day. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye.